Dog, you're checking me out again at Mostly Healthy Food Reviews. So guys, I'm actually going to be going to Stratford, Connecticut today. I'm actually doing a little research on a place that came up on my radar not too long ago. And I decided that I wanted to give them a try because I've actually grew up in the actual town that these uh, places is located in. And I said, you know what? I want to come back and show a little love to a couple of local mom pa establishments, right? I don't know if this is more of a bigger type of establishment than a mom pa, but in either case... It looked interesting. The place is called Wings Over Stratford. It's actually located on Barnum Avenue. As usual, I'm going to drop the address in the bottom of this video. Now, I decided I want to swing over because they actually have, besides wings and things, they actually have grilled tenders. All right. I guess they're slightly more healthy than a regular tender. I mean, considering sodium intake and everything else. But out of a fried option versus a grilled, I'd probably go with grilled. It's chicken. It is what it is. I never said I was a vegan. Never said I was a vegetarian. I never said that I actually worked in health services as far as food goes. In either case, though, I am an expert on taste, guys. This is why you guys come for these videos, because you know how I get down. Very real review time. They have no idea who I am. Enough talking. Let's actually swing over to Stratford right now. Find out what's going on with Wings over Stratford. Grilled chicken tenders. Ready? Let's go.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, wings over Stratford, Barnum Avenue, Stratford, Connecticut. Like I said in the very beginning of the video, I kind of wanted to come back to where I was raised, Stratford, Connecticut, and kind of show love to one of the establishments here. Now, I do not know if Wings Over Stratford is considered a chain restaurant. I don't think it is because there's not many Stratfords in the, in the world, right? There's Stratford, Connecticut. There's Stratford on Avon. How many other Stratfords are there? I, I don't know, but I'm thinking that this is probably just like a one and done. And that's cool. Basically, when you walk in, you got your counter, your little area, a couple chairs to wait. You order your food. It took about 20 minutes for me to get mine. As you see, I decided to go with and try their grilled tenders. I then also added a six piece of wings. I wanted to go with a dry rub today. I went with lemon pepper, one of my favorites. And that's how I kind of gauge a good wing. If it got a nice dry rub to it and it, it tastes good, it's, it's a good wing to me. I didn't want to go with a buffalo and they had a couple other different flavors I could have went with, but this time I decided to go lemon pepper. That's what it is. I took a side of ranch and a side of blue cheese. They do charge you extra for either the blue cheese or the ranch. Couple cents, so it is what it is. I want to start with the grilled chicken tenders. Now, the grilled chicken tenders, don't get me wrong. The chicken pieces were extremely flavorful. They were very juicy. And as soon as I bit into it, juiciness on the tender okay cool it tasted good right but here's the thing i can make those same tenders at home for a fraction of what i just spent on these then they got the nerve to give me some tater tots tater tots are some of my favorites you can even put different flavors on them like cajun and i just wanted plain tater tots today i didn't even want to put ketchup on them so i went with chicken that i could have made myself at home for a fraction of what i paid for it and the chicken pieces would have actually been bigger that two-piece cost me $8 and change. You saw the receipt. Was it worth it? In my opinion, no, it wasn't. Truthfully, they were flavorful. But like I said, in my local area, I can actually get a four-pack of family pack of chicken for $8 and with some taters on it? Nah, I probably would spend $6 and save two if you guys are on a budget and you have a family and you're trying to feed a bunch of people. That's not what I'm here for. I'm actually doing a flavor review. I do talk about pricing in it, but I wanted to try the flavors for the first time and see what it is. You now know what it costs for a two piece if you decide to go with the grilled option, which I guess would be a little healthier than the fried option. But in either case, you're going to spend about $8 for it. It wasn't anything extra or special from what I've had in the past. I got to go ahead and give it a score and I'm going to give it a ranking now. I'm going with a six. I'm going with a six on the two-piece grilled tenders. <sighs> they were good. They just weren't a 10 to me. And on top of it, they they just, they're, they're, they're something that you can make yourself. Would I get them again? Probably not. Just for the cost effect of a loan. And uh, I learned. Next up, six-piece wings. Six-piece wings. Six-piece dry rub. Lemon pepper wings, two little sides of, of food, bottled water just cost me $20. I got a problem with that because people are on a budget and a lot of people are having problems paying for basic stuff, basic necessities. So for something like this, it, it's a lot. As far as the wings go, dry rub lemon pepper. The wings were a nice size. They were a decent size. They were cooked straight through to the bone. I appreciated that. They had a nice flavor to them. They were seasoned really, really well. As a matter of fact, the lemon pepper made me pucker. That's how much lemon pepper they actually put on these wings. It was one of those things where you're going to get a lot, a lot, a lot of flavor on these particular wings. Were they good? Yeah, they definitely were good. I definitely say these are some of the best lemon pepper wings I've had lately. It's tough to say, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. They are. But I get them again. I definitely would. The price point is $8.00. Were they worth the $8 without the sides, without the waffle fries or the tater tots? You know what? For what they were, yeah, I think so. Because they put a lot of seasoning and a lot of flavor into these things. And even the flats were fried nicely. So, yeah, I appreciated them. Here's my review. Lemon pepper dry rubs. I'm going with an eight on the lemon pepper dry rubs. 
over here at Wings Over Stratford. I like them. I would definitely get them again. And I would definitely recommend them to you if you're in a mood for some wings and you're in the area. It's one of those things. Wings and things is what it is. Woo! Very real review. I'm not going to go home and finish my food because I don't want to waste twenty dollars on food and i don't eat it this time so i'm gonna go ahead and finish my food guys if you like the videos do me a favor click subscribe turn notifications on that way you get them when i drop them mondays fridays 12 noon eastern standard during the week as time permits and once again this is claude at mostly healthy food reviews news break youtube instagram twitter i'm around for all the good food and flavors if there's a health bonus it's an added bonus and if the food is good, I'm going to talk about it. If it's not, I'm still going to talk about it. Y'all know how I do. In either case, let me get up out of here. You guys be cool on the other side of the pillow. I'll talk to you next time.